Okay, so this is number three in a four-part series. This is Eric. Hope you like it. If you do like it, please do like it. And uh, have you subscribed? Please do subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Wow! Cool! I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So just in case you weren't paying attention, this is uh, Eric Trump, number three in a four-part series. And uh, so we'll just take a look and see if we think he's going to um, face prosecution for this and if he's going to uh, spill the beans uh, also. So Eric Trump. You know, his is, an, is in a face that comes to mind immediately uh, when you think of him. I mean, you have to kind of focus in. And he's had a few different looks over the years. He's been more blonde. He's been more short hair. When he was younger, he had kind of shaggy hair. I mean, like teenager young. So Eric Trump and then his... Eric Trump, and then his wife, uh, Lara, is the one who's so involved in the Trump thing and uh, had some news thing on Fox, I believe. So, so let's see. I mean, he's in it pretty deep. For the level that he's at. All this and got him on a whim and thought, you know, how weird can it be? So this is a uh, Wang, Robert Wang, you know, who's the fellow who puts out these cards. Is uh, he developed this Jungian tarot, tarot rather, uh, kind of uh, to take you through some of the, uh, and it's got a good box too, of the um, ways that these might be used in a medical <laughs> application. So anyway, it tells you a little bit about uh, Carl Jung and uh, the psychoanalytic. Uh, um, issues that they thought the pictures that he developed for these cards, he developed for these cards, might actually help out. So it's interesting, you know, but they're basically tarot images. They're just not as clear as other images. But I gotta tell you, it's a really good box. It's a cool box. You've got a, a bottle of cologne in this. It's, it's kind of the kind of box it feels like. Now, the cards are cool. That's the back. They're very interesting. I don't know what they all mean. And the front uh, do kind of follow the Rider, Rider weight system, but you really have to know your a right away system. I mean, there's some of them are okay, but some of them really don't give you uh, the clues that, you, that I know I depend on. So you got to know it. And uh, but they're great cards. They got a good feel. They're just the right size. And you know, I like to mix them up like this so that uh, you get to look at uh, more cards than just the uh, seven or ten or however many you might see during a pull that one of us does on television. So now I've got these all upside down. I'm sure so it'll be even worse for me. But uh, that's the Jungian, if you can believe it, Carl Jung Tarot. Designed by him for psychoanalysis. Amazing. I like them. Okay, so this Jungian and Tarot are perfect uh, for Eric. I mean, because he's kind of the little bit nerdy one, but I don't know if he's smart at all. But um, and then the uh, psychological relationship they have with their dad, and he's down on the ladder, kind of watching everything. The youngest, uh, looking back on the others. Yeah, so let's see if this works. I just hope I can remember the um, divinations for these cards because they're not particularly um, you know, uh, intuitive. You know what I mean? The, the pictures don't come to tell you what to say all the time. So you really got to remember Eric, Eric, Eric Trump. Eric Trump. So how are you going to fear in all of this, buddy? You and your crazy wife, Lara, who is on TV and spouting all kinds of stuff. Who knows who she's been connected to via her phone. And um, does that drag you into that conversation too? So Eric Trump, because she is a major campaign element. Eric Trump, you going to save yourself by revealing something? Will your position be less because of something that you reveal? Let's see. Six cards at first, and then we'll see how that goes. So this is one. Two, 
three, four, five, and finally here six. So, Eric Trump, you're going to ease your burden by telling just enough. Are you going to get some relief? The signifier for that, wow, okay, how many How many do we have here? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of swords. This is, typically, this is the guy that's stabbed in the back. So are you, uh, this is a signifier card, so are you the guy stabbed in the back? Because I imagine if it gets down to it, your brother and sister might dump on you. And then certainly your dad. Or is this you stabbing someone in the back? The challenge to that then is the six of wands. And uh, the six of wands is celebrations typically. So this is interesting. Wands are just like it shows here, fire, action, movement, forward so the challenge to oh so i think you're the one who's going to do the backstabbing and the challenge to doing that of course is someone close to you and it's the celebration that that brings because it uh, relieves your issue a bit it has to be it the base of this reading then is it what's this uh nine ten of pentacles happy family so the base of this has been family all along uh, that's interesting and then the, uh, and this is more of the uh, empire of family than happy family. This is more of the money. So the base of this has been family all along. And the past of this is the four, five, six, seven of uh, wands, which is, um, you know, typically this is depicted as a one guy up on a mountain with a wand, and then there's six wands kind of poking up at him from below. So it's kind of trying to ha having to man manage your uh, impulses, manage uh, the plans that are coming at you, uh, getting things under control. And the seven of wands is just beginning to be embattled. Uh, he gets more embattled as, as his number increases. The sky for this reading for, uh, are you going to give some information, is a four, five, six, seven of swords, which is a thief. So, um, and that's what a thief would do. You turn in your buddies. Um, wow. And then the um, likely uh, future for this first part, the near future of this first part is, oh, now i got to figure out what are you. Um, this is not a, a queen. Uh, this has got to be a page. So this is a, a, a princess is what they're calling this card. So this is a princess of wands equal to a page of wands in a typical court card. But uh, so she is, has very little value in the court and uh, you have very little value in this family, but you do have a plan and you do have some action that you can take. It's not much, but uh, you have something. That's you. So, um, so you have something to offer up. Are you going to actually do jail time? That's what I want to know. Are you going to do any time in jail at all? I don't think so. So let's see. For Eric Trump, are you going to do any jail time? First card for that, the self of that question, the very self of the question, Eric Trump, are you going to do jail time? Three of Swords, Broken Heart. Looks like maybe you will, some kind of way. Uh, the environment that that's in then, uh, your Broken Heart, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is, is a good place to be. I mean, that's... The greedy merchant that's the fellow who's accumulated all these uh you know uh, trophies that have a lot of emotional value to him at least and is proud to have them on display so the this broken heart ah is because of you know it's your pride this is your pride right here the uh yeah the the environment that this broken heart in is is it's wallowed in this emotion of all your pride interesting so the uh, hopes and the fears for this uh and the question here is are you going to do time broken heart wallowing in emotion and um, this is a five of swords. This is an abuse of power. Abuse of power. This is all like leaning toward uh, guilty and, and my heart's broken about uh, this emotional situation. And then the final outcome for this then is the king of wands. Okay. And uh, wow. So this can be interpreted a couple of ways. So uh, you, as a king of your actions, are going to burn in hell, <laughs> looks like here. Um, so that could mean, yes, some jail time. Or um, if this uh, would would represent maybe the government, but none of this has this has all been about about you. So yeah, I think that's exactly it. You're going to suffer. You're going to burn. Yeah, this king isn't burnt up, but he certainly is is, is getting burnt. So you're going to get burnt. Interesting. So just to go over it really quickly, it was a pretty straightforward. Uh, are you going to give them up? And the first card to get is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of swords. So that's backstabbing right there and it's in the environment of the uh, six of wands um, which is a uh, victory so your backstabbing leads to a victory uh, f uh, for you it looks like and it was all uh, the base of that was the ten of pentacles which is usually happy family but for me this is the empire the trump money empire and then the past of that was the four five six seven of wands which is just uh embattlement you know just uh, 
taking what you the protection you've got and you're on top of the situation for the moment and protecting yourself and uh, the top of that whole thing was a seven of uh, swords so thievery and uh, the likely outcome of all that was uh, you as a uh, page uh, of wands you being uh, Eric Trump yep and then said uh, so is there gonna be jail time and the first thing that comes up is three swords that's a broken heart it's usually depicted by a heart with three swords in it so broken heart in the environment of the nine of cups which is all of your pride uh, that you carry with you and uh, the uh, hopes and the fears for that is still only the five of swords which is an abuse of power and then the likely outcome of the whole thing I think is Eric Trump in uh, control uh, the king of wands which is the king of his plans of his uh, controlling of, of what he does and uh, he's getting burnt by it he's, uh, he's not lose doesn't look like he's consumed by it but he's getting burnt so I think yeah he'll be doing time I'm Mark my journey through tarot tomorrow's another day stop by we'll do it again ciao for now